Thanks for being with us on Go Hills TV back at the Wagner Athletic Complex in West Burlington, Iowa, where your Warrior softball team, Region 11 champions. I'm standing by with the winning pitcher, Matty Anderson, out there in the circle. Matty, you go all seven, get a shutout, just two hits to this ball club over here. How'd it feel? Uh, pretty good. They always give us their best game whenever we play them, and this is the seventh time we played them, so um, going out and getting a win was big for us, so yeah. You told me before the game when we met for just a moment that you were feeling confident coming in. What gives you that confidence, and how were you able to execute out there? Um, preparation and just trusting my stuff. I knew, I knew what I had, and I knew what I had to do, so that gave me some confidence, and yeah, so yeah. When you're in a game like that where it's just zeros are getting thrown up on the board as you go along here, you know you know you got to be on, right? And you stayed that way. What's that like for you mentally in the dugout as you watch your batters come up and get on base, but just unable to scratch across those runs early? Um, yeah, I just have to stay dialed in. Like uh, getting a zero-zero ball game, I I've been in it, so it's okay. I just gotta keep going and stick with my stuff. So yeah. You finally get some run support there with three runs coming in. Then the very next inning, they get runners on second, third with just one out. Coach Dial comes out. What's the message from her to you in the infield? Um, we got this. I knew we had it. I knew my defense was going to come up clutch. Um, I knew they were going to make some plays. I knew Greta was going to make that catch. <laughs> I knew I knew that was going to happen. I just had faith in us. So, yeah. How does it feel to be a champion? Uh, it feels pretty good. <laughs> Are you ready to get back out there, huh? Yeah, I'm ready for districts. I'm ready to get another plaque, so let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Maddie. <laughs> good work. You. Good work out there. Got another warrior going to come up here with us. I might as well just hand the mic over to this one. She knows how to handle it. Greta Hartz, how about it? The defensive play of the game by far. The highlights already all over social media. Greta, take me through that play as that ball's on the way out to you. Um, so you obviously know where the runners are, are every uh -huh. play, but um, I knew that situation that ball was hit. I mean, there was two outs. If I didn't catch that ball, runners were scoring. So there was no really thought in my mind besides you have to catch the ball. There's really no other option. And so everyone said I was stumbling and tripping. I didn't necessarily feel it, but all I knew was I had to dive to get the ball. That's all I remember. <laughs> that was actually going to be my follow-up to you. It, it looked like you stumbled a little bit, That's but you didn't. That's what everyone's telling me. That's what everyone's I got to go back and watch the replay. <laughs> you, I, felt, you felt in control. All in my mind, I have to catch the ball. That's the only thing. <laughs> hey, that's the important <laughs> thing. You had some good at-bats, too. Some of them didn't fall for you. You got robbed of one out in left field, too, but you feel good in the plate? Yeah, we'll get it figured out this next week. So, yeah, my team picked me up. That's all I can say. That's all I can ask for. Same final question I gave to Maddie. How's it feel to be a champion? Oh, it's awesome. Um, being an Indian Hills football player, that's I feel like that's expected. Right. And that's just how I feel. It's the next part that we didn't quite finish up last year that we just need to get through and get to nationals. So I feel confident going into it, though. All right, good work today, Greta. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and we'll bring in the lady of the hour as well, Coach Lindsey Dial here. Another championship, Coach. How about a seven straight for this program? That's outstanding. I know. I always say winning never gets old. So it's it it's fun to be a warrior. Um, you know, I'm pleased with how my kids did today. I couldn't be more excited um, that we're moving on to districts. That's exactly right. Now we got to talk to the winning pitcher, Maddie Anderson. How'd you think about her out there? Maddie threw a gem today. I mean, I, I really talked to her, you know, when we were over here and she came in on Saturday, I told her I felt like she wasn't breathing in between pitches. And I, I watched her taking it at that deep breath and trying to slow her heart rate down and let's be in the moment, um, you know, and I feel like she was kind of not getting that outside corner, but she didn't let it affect her and what she was doing. Um, you know, Alex Beard did a great job working with her behind the plate. Um, there's they, That duo works well together. No doubt about it. Now, I asked her about that circle visit whenever they got runners on second and third and just one out. Sounded like a very similar message to what you gave Ryan yesterday, just to calm yeah. down, compete, yeah. and she did it. Yeah, I mean, I told him, I said, we're okay. It's going to be, you know, just go go work your zone, and we'll make plays for you and, and get out of this. And she did. And she, she seemed calm, um, which I think, you know, feeds off of that. You go to the circle, and your pitcher seems calm. Your defense is going to be nice and relaxed. Um, and defense did a great job. There were a couple... I told Bree Newton I took my blood pressure medicine this morning on that one that she jumped up and got. Yeah. But, no, they did a great job. Well, and how about the play from Greta and left? Oh, my gosh. You know, we've been working on, like, Coach Marshall does a fantastic job um, with our outfielders. And Greta said, and she had a lot of thoughts going on in that moment. She said, <laughs> if I don't stop this, they're going to tie the ball game. Um, and it was. It was full extension. I think the wind helped her a little bit. A little bit. Kind of slowed that ball down um, for her, her to be able to make that play. But that was huge, huge. Greta said it's the standard for this program to be right here as region and champions. I mean, you've won seven straight, like I mentioned. So it, it's gotten to that point, and that speaks volumes. Yeah, I mean, we set the bar high at Indian Hills and everything that we do, um, and this group has really responded to that. Um, you know, they don't back down from it. They don't, they're don't. they not scared of it. Um, they go right at, at that challenge, and so we're excited that we get an opportunity to play whoever comes out of Missouri and get our punch our ticket to get to Yuma. 
We may find that out today. We may not, depending on how things go down there. But what's the rest of the week look like leading up to districts? I mean, I think that, like, coming into this, we let them rest a little bit. You know, we've been grinding and out. At this point in the year, kids are tired. And so definitely get a rest day in tomorrow, get in and see our athletic trainers, take, you know, try to rehab our bodies a little bit, and then get back to work. we gotta, we got to polish up some swings, um, especially on a day like this when the wind is blowing straight in and we live on a long ball. Um, you know, we're going to have to change some things up and be able to work and go with an outside pitch. And so we'll really, you know, try to find tune some things going down the stretch here. How hungry do you think this team is to make amends for last year and be able to get over that hurdle and get back to Yuma? I mean, they talk about Yuma every day and we break down every huddle with that. It's it's a constant every day that that's our goal. That's what we're working for. And I think this group is hungry and they want to get there. Congratulations, coach. Thank you so much. All right. That'll do it for us here on Go Hills TV in West Burlington. Your Warriors Region 11 champions for the seventh straight year.